Thank you. So a bit of warning if anybody goes outside. It's, storm, it's a stormy Sunday. So stormy be careful. Sunday. Are we recording tonight? Yeah. Oh man. Take, take one of these cards you can find on YouTube later. Alright. <laughs> or it might be in a couple days. That's right. <laughs> Takes time. Alright, so I'm going electric. Hopefully I don't mess it up. This is music that plays when a stranger knocks on your door at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah.
is true that everything is alive, everything you've ever known, everything you've ever done, everything you haven't done, everything that you're, pre you're prevented from doing because of some barrier that you find yourself in, if all of that, it's true 100% that it is indeed a lie, then not everything is a lie. And there is your, therein lies your humanity. I got much time left? Yeah, you got a little time. Oh, boy. Well, either I, I leave right now, I end on a high note, or I mess up and bullshit some time or something. Uh, I mean, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do some comedy and music at the same time. But you see, the problem with... Did, did it go up? No? Okay. Get the comedy sound. Oh, boy. <laughs> see, the, it's hard enough being an unrecorded artist and just an unknown indie person on the indie scene, whatever. But it's also nine times more, ten times more difficult. Uh, if you don't know exactly what you're committed to. Because you see, if I did the comedy first, and then the music, then you would be like, oh, well, dude, how are we supposed to take you seriously when you just spent, you know, five minutes making us laugh and, you're not, and we, we're not supposed to take you seriously? But now that I've done the music, and I'm gonna do the comedy next, well then, it's like, dude, you were doing so well. You are doing so well. And then you opened your mouth. But, all right, I got, I got a few jokes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so the other day I was drinking out of a Fiji water bottle and on the back of it there was a slogan that says, the soft taste of solid rock. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've been drinking that water for years and my teeth are perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, rocks are not soft people. If it was soft, then that would go against everything that makes a rock a rock. But, I don't know. I like nacho cheese Doritos, but the only problem is that when you go to floss, you can never tell whether there's blood or Dorito debris on your shirt. I'll finish with this. I have a lot of respect for people who work in fast food, but sometimes they're a little bit too much. Look, I was at a drive-thru and this lady, or I just went up to the lady, I said, can I please have just a bottle of water? And then she said, you want anything else with that? Uh, no. <laughs> just, just a bottle of water. And then this other time I was in, I was in the same Dunkin' Donuts, and we went through with a, went through with the transaction, everything was fine, and she says, have a nice day, and it was nine o'clock at night outside. <laughs> But you see, I don't, I don't know what's worse. The fact that you can't tell what a night sky and a day sky looks like. Or the fact I'm getting a donut at 9 o'clock at night. I'll let you either judge of that. <laughs> Alright. There's one more. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta finish, you gotta start strong, you gotta end strong. Maybe I did end strong. I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember. Now, is anybody, is anybody like me in that they're sick and tired and annoyed and angry beyond their will with the fact that the person who you're ordering food from refers to you as boss throughout the entire transaction? Oh, how are you today, boss? What's going on? Well, what will it be today, boss? Is that all, boss? Is that all you want on your sandwich, boss? All right, get to that to the end of the line, boss. All right, that'll be eleven eighteen, boss. I'm not your boss, okay? I don't know what kind of trouble is going on when you come to work every day, but you don't need to be taking it out on me, all right? I'm the customer. And my friend, it's just a simple fact, you are the transition, just like with anybody else who works behind a desk, or works behind a elevated counter. Cashier, 
you can't say cashier anymore, sales associate, <laughs> and a fast food person. The transition between me having what I want and me not having what I want. It's all it is, man. It's all our relationship is. You don't need to get angry. You don't need to get passive. I don't need that shit. All right? Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the plan. That's the snack. Let's hear it for Brian Kane over there. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, boss. Hey. We're going to get uh, Mitch Coney up here in a minute.